It's winter again. Okay, it is Tuesday, November 25th. <laughs> okay, it is November 24th, and we are going to be getting ready for babies. Okay, why are we having babies again this year, Lauren? Well, we have three baby, three does that are due to kid starting today. They could kid today to next week, basically. It's because one of them is Marigold, AKA Tudball, AKA Miss Piggy, who you can hear right there. She's a mile wide, like the little cow she is. And she is a first freshener and she is hefty. And how you get your goats to not be hefty a one way is to breed them when they're a yearling. Right, mom? Yes. That's Validate me. Okay. If they're big enough as yearlings. Yes. So if they're big enough as yearlings, which, so Scarlet was a yearling when she had Gamora earlier this year. And so Marigold, we just could never see her in heat. So as soon as we saw her in heat, we put her in with Stag, who we sold in July. And before we sold her, we bred her to him to Marigold. And then um, Party came into heat. Party had her babies in March. So that was nine months ago. Yeah, early March. So, and she's kind of getting older. So we're not sure how many more times we're going to breed her. So we were like, we want to breed her to stag. And um, therefore that was our opportunity. So we bred Party to stag. So this will be Party's second kidding of the year. So that means she'll have... She had her three, uh, her triplets in uh, March. We dried her up as soon as possible. And so she's, she's fine to be bred. So this is gonna be her second kidding of the year, which we've never done before. So we'll and see. probably we'll never do again. Yeah, I don't know that I like this. Um, yeah, it's totally fine. Mom, what are you doing? Whose light is that? This is storage. Oh. I will put a light here for Beanie, but it will have a red bulb. Oh, okay, gotcha. So Beanie, Beanie sits there on our extra staunch, and that's where she roosts. And she will have a heat lamp. And she's a heat lamp because she's all by herself. She doesn't roost with everyone else because she's a silky, and silkies don't roost. Anyway, they don't roost up high like the other chickens do. Parker's a menace. Speaking of Parker, the other one who's ready to kid this week is Irish, Parker's mother. So Irish was bred to Stag, Stagley, this time last year and had Parker in early April. She just had one and we said, Irish, you have to earn your keep. And if you have to have two pregnancies a year in order to give us two babies, then so be it. <laughs> And also we really like Parker, so we wanted to do that breeding again. So that is why we have three does kidding on Thanksgiving, which is not ideal and I don't think we'll ever do again. But luckily, because of COVID, we're not going anywhere. So First of all, look at that gorgeous lady. And look at him being so brave coming in the barn. Party has um, really pegged him a few times because she's ornery and he's um, kind of afraid to come in the barn. Okay, so this is my clipper box and my hoof boss. So we're doing pregnancy, birthing clips, and trimming hooves on everyone. And then we are getting the um, heat lamps up because it's finally gotten cold. It's about 40 degrees. And we're cleaning the chicken pen. Maybe not today, but we're cleaning this pen because the boys are going to go in this pen. The boys as in these two little turds. And then party's going to come in here. We've got the camera set up. I don't know if you can see it. I could walk over there, but there we go. Camera's all set up. And we're just gonna keep an eye on Irish and Marigold. Irish doesn't look like anything's happening. Marigold looks like maybe something could happen in a week or so. So that's what we're doing. I just want you to know that I turned the camera on by just using my nose because I'm wearing gloves. <sighs> so we've cleaned out the chicken coop and mom is rebedding the nesting boxes. Yay. 
and tripping. And now we have this one. We got halfway through that one and then started doing this one. It's gonna be one well, of those days. Because you were Oh I was sweeping a sweeping, sweeping the bird poop off of the stairs. I didn't want to be under that. Yeah, you don't want to be under that. So So here's our first wheelbarrow. See if I can stop it with my nose. Not too bad. We're three wheelbarrows in and we have that clean and we have that clean. And we're going to move the little bucklings to their, their spot for probably just a week. We have a friend that was supposed to borrow Snoopy on Sunday. But am I get to, should I talk about Pizzle Rot or no? Is that interesting? Okay. Okay, I'll talk about it and then if I think it's too crude, I'll, I'll take it out. So we got him out to get him ready for our friend who's gonna borrow him. Um, and checking him out, trimmed his feet, wormed him, dewormed him, and uh, we've experienced something called pizzle rot, which is where their sheath, the outer part of his manhood, um, is scolded because they're producing a lot of urine. Mom, you have to talk about this too. It's um, basically urine scald. Yeah. Their hair keeps that urine close to the end of the sheath area. If they were a horse, that's what I'd call it. I'm not sure what's called on a goat. Yeah. Probably got a different name. We've had only one other buck who was Snoopy's dad six know. years ago have this. And so we just, and they're so disgusting right now that we should really be checking them more often, but we've only had it happen once, so it just wasn't on our mind. But when we went to get him out to leave, it was pretty bad. And so we're like, how about we doctor him? Because I don't think you want to do what's involved in dealing with pizzle rot. Yeah. <laughs> so he's still here, but he will be going hopefully Friday. That's what we're shooting for. <coughs> it really wasn't that bad, so we just don't want her to deal with it. It's mostly healed. Yeah, he's and he acted totally fine, like it wasn't bothering him at all. Yeah, normally though, if have... he would just stop peeing, <sighs> male goats pee on themselves and their beard and everything, including us, yeah. when they're in rut because there's pheromones, pheromones, hormones, there I don't know, pheromones, in, pheromones in the urine. <laughs> that attract the ladies. So he's trying to make himself most desirable. So these two little guys, Crocodile is going to go to the lady. Hey, Karen. Hi, Karen. Shout out to you. We love you. Um, she, he's going to Karen's house, but he's too little for the job right now. She has a lot of does to breed. So she's borrowing Snoopy, who is Crocodile's dad. Right, Mom? Yeah. Anyway. All that to say, they're only going to be in here for a week, then Snoopy leaves, and they can go back with Mr. Stunning because they'll just be one big boy instead of two big boys to mess with them. So, there they go. And Parker can really hold his own. He's um, pretty much the biggest turd you'll ever meet. And, uh, but Crocodile's too sweet, and he just gets rammed. All right, now on to this one. Party. Okay, you want me to stop this and get you a collar? There's a blue chain just over there. Party is not very compliant normally, and when she's pregnant, she's even less compliant. I love a challenge. And that's why she's my favorite. You got her, yay! Did she get that big body up there? Oh, that was hard. Just barely. That's all we need, though. Yeah, she's a hairy beast. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn her feet. This is party mother to be. Round two. Official due date is the 26th, Thanksgiving. That's day 145. Was she early or late this year? I can't remember. I'll have to look at my records. I don't remember. Ouch. 
see, that's why we're gonna shape her. She got some milk in there. Yeah. She is leaning on me so bad. Yeah. Do you see that? I do. You're gonna fall. I was trying to help you by letting you lean on me, but you're gonna just fall right off the stanchion. thinks it's fun and delicious. How can I help you? So party's registered name is Life of the Party, which is a Sean Mendez song. Yes. Oh, good and her mom, well, why do we start with songs? Her mom was Brown Eyed Girl, girl ah, which is song. A song. There we go. That started the theme. So it's fun to name your goats. Certain bloodlines have certain themes. So hers are always songs. So her first kidding was Delilah and Fight Song. Hey there, Delilah. We're going to use the hoof boss. Good gravy. So you have to have your safety classes. Equipment. Cause this will, well first off, you don't want anything flying into your eyeballs. And then also you don't want to shave your hands off. Yes, there will be no shaving of the hands off today. All right. Excuse me. I need to replace these gloves. Oh, yeah. I don't want that to happen to my finger. <laughs> no, Hardy's udder looks pretty crazy right now, but it's not, it's just starting to fill. When it's full, she has a lovely udder. Yes. And she's actually a finished champion. All right, now for the clip. Um, we're just gonna trim most of that long hair off her udder and just around her backside so that when she kids, it's not um, And believe it or not. Missy. The beginning of this year, when she was about to kid, we filmed this whole process then as well. Except my cameraman, whom I, I love and hold most dear, recorded it in slow motion. So, carefully watch that. <laughs> well, how, how silly of your cameraman. Are you using a, a 10? I'm using a size? 7 just because that's what was on it. And it is cold. So a 7 leaves it, oh, like a quarter of an inch long hair? 3.2 millimeters. There you go. And you still want her to have some hair to stay warm. And we want the babies to be able to find the, the udder in all the hair. And also, she drips down. If it sticks to the hair, then it can get pretty yucky. And that's really painful. Yeah. Look at all your helpers. I know. Vito, Wookie, Kylo.
she is done. And she is not happy. Come on, Irish. Up. You know what to do. And haul the back side up. Come on. Here. It's like my well, stanchions usually over here. Right here. I'll start with feet because I'm a creature of habit. Oh my. You can't pick it off her hook. No, no. <laughs> So goats don't have feeling in the outer wall of their feet, hooves. So you can cut these like trimming your fingernails. If you get too short, it does hurt. So you have to be careful. And I'm not an expert, I just do my best. She has very nice feet. Yes. And then I look at it from the side. She has like no udder. I don't know how she's due anytime soon. I know. That has me a bit worried. But we did a pregnancy test. And was she ultrasound? Did no. we ultrasound her? Just Ted Ball. And, and Party. Sandy. And Sandy, that's right. You say Party? Oh. I do, I don't know why. So Sandy and uh, Marigold whom sometimes we lovingly called Tedball. Um, we had the vet come and ultrasound them because I was just dying to know if they were pregnant. And Sandy was not, but Marigold was. And then when we did our CAE, CL, and Yoni's testing, I went ahead and had um, everyone but Zoe pregnancy tested. Zoe's retired, so no need to test her. And came back as Marigold, Irish, and Party were pregnant. And of course not Sandy, which we already kind of knew, but it's always nice to get a double verification. Okay, we're not gonna win any prizes here for this clipping job, but she won't get gunk stuck to it, so. Lovely. This is her first freshening, yay. She was weaned and freshened the same year. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, she's plenty big enough. She's a big girl. Now she has got wackadoodle feet, and I literally just trimmed these like maybe three weeks ago, and they're already grown out. So some goats you can you can get away with not trimming for months. <laughs> yeah, and they're okay. And some need to be trimmed every three weeks. So you just have to know your know your goat.
I just have to show you something. What? Oh. Oh, he got up. I thought you were talking to me. I was talking to the people. <laughs> Did you get your fingers? Okay, there's a white pair of those gloves in the garage. Yeah, but I didn't hurt it. Okay, it good. Just went for a second, so I thought maybe I chopped it off and I just was hallucinating. We don't need any finger injury. It still feels really odd. Like you saw it, right? It was totally fine. Yeah. Maybe you took the top first layer of skin off, but it's not bleeding. I know. It's the first time I've ever done that. And we got it on camera. Okay. Ah! Nice job. I had to do a little goat wrangling. I took part of my fingernail off. Do you see that? Oh, yay, Lauren. That's better than okay. my actual finger. Yeah. She said, huh, trim your fingernails. She's never been shaved either, so fun fact. No one got shaved this year because we went nowhere. So we didn't shave her when we showed her as a baby? We never showed her. We showed her. We just her. took her with us to the show, but we didn't show her. Because isn't that you leading her around in the aisle of the yes. barn? She's so cute. You'll find that and insert it into this video. Ready for babies now. Yay. Thanks all for watching. Girls, <laughs> <'cause Lauren's laughs> wearing ink. Yeah, all girls, believe it or not. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. So next time I make a video, we'll probably be of a go having birth. So Yay. If you wanna see that? Like and subscribe. Woohoo! So we're taking Toothless to the vet because one of his eyes is swollen. And we couldn't get his little crate together. And we're running late, so he's just sitting on my lap. He is not okay. Who's the best boy? Who's the best boy? He's doing so good. Okay, so we're done with the vet, and um, of course, we had to just hand him over to her. <laughs> and we, we finally let him go where he wanted, and he's. Oh, can you see? 
No, you can't. He's down there on the floor in the back seat. That's where he wanted to be. He wanted to go home. He's not happy. <laughs> it's a scary car ride. But he was really good in the vet office. He's just not. He's only ever been in the car one other time in his life. Um, yeah, so she, what? So it was just infected? Yeah, it just. The eye itself looks good. There's nothing in it. And she gave us some stuff to put on. It's a, it's a Twice a day, an antibiotic ointment. So, yeah, that, that's our day. And our day is basically done. Um, we're going to make some soap and that's it. Anyway. <laughs>